On average, you probably poop at least once a day. But we've all had a day or two when we couldn't huh? go. Let's take that a step further and imagine being constipated for an entire month. How would your body change? On today's challenge, we're going to find out. This is your body on holding in your poop for a month. In 2018, a 28-year-old woman suffered from extreme constipation. She went 45 days without a single bowel movement. After a two-hour surgery, she luckily survived this situation, but would the same happen to you? Okay, it's your first day. You've eaten three meals, but haven't gone to relieve yourself. Everything would be okay. You've just gained about half a kilogram. That's the amount of feces you'd have in your body. So let's keep going a few more days. By the end of the first week, holding in your poop could lead to problems. Your stool would have backed up into your intestinal system, causing you some discomfort. You'd probably feel pain in your stomach and intestines. You'd also let out a lot of gas. At this point, you'd have gained over two kilograms, but it would still be bearable, so you can keep going. Two weeks into this challenge, you'd probably get the urge to go. Your stomach pain would get more intense as you hold it in. This new week would be unbearable. You'd likely feel nauseous and sick all the time. Your gastrointestinal tract would be filled with so much gas that you'd experience abdominal bloating. Uh, be patient, dude. There are two weeks left. Okay, after three weeks without evacuating your bowels, you'd be in trouble. You would have gained the equivalent of a 10-liter tub of ice cream. As poop has built up in your intestines for quite some time, you could develop a fecal impaction. It's a large, hard piece of stool that could get stuck in your colon. Uh-oh! You wouldn't be able to push it out by yourself. It would be putting pressure on your bowels, causing them to perforate. The stool could spill into your abdominal cavity and because stool is acidic and contains bacteria, this spillage could cause severe health issues. You could face a greater risk of having a heart attack because chronic constipation aggravates stress. But that wouldn't happen for sure, so let's keep going for another week. Come on, you're almost there. By the fourth week, you'd probably defecate automatically. At this point, gravity would play a role. You wouldn't be able to hold it in any longer. And even if you still refused to excrete, it could just go out the other way. Yeah, you heard me. You could end up vomiting up stool. Well, <laughs> you decide, buddy. And if you didn't do those things, Toxins would build up in your body and hurt your general health. It might be worth stopping here. If you went on for over a month, your intestines could enlarge so significantly that they would press on your organs. You'd end up dying of a heart attack. So you could probably survive this challenge for a month, but it would be painful and frightening. But let's try something else. How would you feel if you had tapeworms eating everything inside of you? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>